What's going on guys? I know I'm I'm a little bit late to this news, but I still figured I'd bring it to you. I figured not everyone had heard it. Uh, yes, it's true. I know my last two videos were incorrect. Or not last two, uh my two of two of my last few videos were incorrect, uh, where I said Demarcus Cousins was rumored to sign at the Heat, and then he's also rumored to sign with the Celtics. Uh Marcus Cousins has officially signed with who else other than the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, I really think that the Clippers just did this just to do it. Like it, this signing doesn't really make any sense to me whatsoever. Uh, when you look at their roster, they already have Zubak and Ibaka. Like this kind of seems extensive. Uh, what are you extensive? Is that the right word? It seems like just unnecessary, really. Uh, yeah, the Lakers have three good centers and Andre Drummond, Marcus Gasol. Well, if you consider Marcus Gasol a good center, Andre Drummond, Marcus Gasol, and Montrezl Harrell. I think the Clippers were just trying to go tit for tat and just go out and sign the Marcus Cousins, who is a stretch big, replicates what Marcus Gasol does, just at a higher level, and then Zubok can kind of i think he can stretch the floor a little bit uh not as well as boogie really but i think he can stretch the floor a little bit which the lakers only have one center that can stretch the floor at all which is mark gasol because montrez harrell and andre Drummond can both not stretch the floor and then ibaka can stretch the floor not as well as boogie either i would say but he has been improving over the years stretching the floor and probably better than zubat but they all are pretty similar other than that. Like, I don't really understand this at all because Boogie's not some giant lob target. Zubok isn't. Surge really isn't. Like, none of these guys are known as the Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee type, uh, Damian Jones. Like, players like that. None of them are that kind of player. So it doesn't really make sense to me why they have all three of these centers that are pretty similar skill set. Yes, they differ a little bit, uh, but they are still pretty similar, all three of them. Yeah, it's only a 10-day contract that he's getting signed to, uh, so he could just be on the team for 10 days. This hasn't gone all the way through yet, so I don't think today counts as his first day. Um, it might be in a day or two that it officially the 10 days starts, and... I think they'll probably give him a lot of time. I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. I don't think they need DeMarcus Cousins at all. I would rather see him go to a team like Miami or even Boston where he would play a better role, really. Like, this role is going to be weird. I don't see them keeping him around. The Clippers have so much depth at every position, it feels like, other than point guard. Uh, they're a little weak at point guard. But they still do have Pat Bev and Rondo, so they are still pretty solid at point guard. It's just the Clippers, I don't know what's going on, really. They, they seem to sign anyone they think the Lakers have interest in, which I'm telling you right now, the Lakers did not have interest in DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, they just didn't. They already have three centers, and then they have their two-way guys, Costas and... Um, Costas and... Devonta Kaycock, who are both two other big guys they had no interest in going out and get another center i see the lakers looking for a three and d player if they can't get it probably another point guard or something or just best available which other than other than center because i don't see him going after another center it just wouldn't make any sense whatsoever uh and for demarcus cousins this is nice because he hasn't been on a team for maybe month month and a half ish now uh, after getting waived by the Houston Rockets really unexpectedly, it, at least to me. I did not think they were going to waive him because I thought that the Rockets were changing it up and moving on from uh, small ball or micro small ball, if that's probably a better word for it, with having two rosters, on, or I mean two centers, legit centers on their roster last season 
and neither of them were really pl that playable. Like a really old Tyson Chandler, final season Tyson Chandler of his career. And then, uh, I don't know if he's a rookie, second year, I think, Isaiah Hartenstein, which, like, both those guys are pretty unplayable at center. Ran P.J. Tucker, Jeff Green mostly at center. It was just, it was really not good. So I thought they're moving on from that after Mike D'Antoni was gone, Daryl Morey gone. I was like, okay, they're going to start playing basketball the way it should be played with centers. And they go out and sign Boogie. And then they get Christian Wood, too, who's more power forward. But that didn't end up happening because they still seem to be going back to more of a micro small ball level with waving boogie running christian wood more at center who he has been injured a lot and i know he plays pretty dang good still at center but they've just been kind of running more stuff and still kind of not liking center as much and then daryl morey seems like he's still kind of in charge behind the scenes just not officially on paper uh and i yeah i just i I don't know why they ended up waving him. Uh, I thought he was one of their best players. Yeah, he's not what he used to be, and he's not really even that close. But he still is an NBA player. That's what I think, at least. I think he should should be on a roster, which he is now. But he probably should have been before. I don't know why he was available so long. I know the, there was the rumors of he's returning to the Lakers. It just doesn't make sense for them. They didn't need that type of player. Clippers don't even need that type of player. The Heat, I feel like, is the best spot for him. So maybe at the end of his 10-day, he will go to the Miami Heat. Uh, or maybe the Clippers give him a second 10-day. Because I think they've only used... This would be their first 10-day they've used. Because you can only have two 10-days per team per season. So I think this is only their first one. Maybe. Uh, and then after the second 10-day, you have to decide where... If you're assigning the player or if you're just letting him go back to free agency, uh, you can't give him a third. And so, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I'm kind of curious if the Clippers keep him around because that would make a lot more sense if they did not. Uh, because I don't see them getting rid of Surge or a Bach, or I mean Zubok because... Uh, that just doesn't make any sense since they can't trade, and I think they definitely should move on from Cousins. Maybe they don't find anything else that they need, and then with that final roster spot, you keep Cousins. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if you're going to do that, yes, that makes sense. If not, though, uh, if you can find something even slightly better or maybe more potential, do that because you guys don't need Boogie. Let's be honest. They do not need Boogie. And, okay, just hear me out on this really quick. Do you think Boogie could sign with the Nets after his 10-day? Just throwing it out there. Doesn't make sense to me, but you never know. They seem to be signing everyone. I don't think it's really that likely, but maybe. Okay, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. In a future upload, be back tomorrow. And can I get a peace? See you guys later.